Hello everyone, it's Lix, and today I have an art style challenge for you guys. So recently, I saw a different take on the style challenge by an artist here on YouTube named Absolene. They did it based on their influential artists rather than the iconic art styles from television and anime, which I've actually attempted before. It was so fascinating to watch and really motivated me to create my own version as well. And just so you guys know, I did pre-sketch everything in advance mainly to save time but also to make the process more streamlined. And having said all of that, let's get started! To start off the challenge, I am first doing my own style to set a sort of baseline that we can use to compare. The character I am using is an old OC of mine named Saki. I've had her since around 2014, and her simple design slash color palette made her a really good candidate for this challenge. When it comes to my style, I feel like it's very fluid and always changing, which is totally okay. Because depending on the character and feeling I want to portray, I can make slight changes to my process which will reflect in the final product. I usually go for a painterly style straight from the sketch because line art is pain and suffering, and I use more muted slash pastel -y colors for that soft look aesthetic. The first artist featured in this challenge is perhaps one of my greatest inspirations of all time. I remember discovering Yume's art back in 2012 when I was just starting to draw in middle school. Her art and storytelling was not only captivating, but gave me the motivation to try harder. It made me want to achieve a skill level where I could create my own universes and bring them to life. Yume's pieces usually incorporate mesmerizing backgrounds and colorful palettes but I focus mainly on her more anime-esque portraits for this challenge. Her paintings have more contrast and darker shading than mine, but also bright colors that act as highlight. I had a hard time trying to replicate the harmonious pops of colors in her style, but ultimately I'm content with how it turned out. I discovered this next artist during my old DeviantArt days as well. I really love her delicate anime style, and seeing her art on my feed always makes my day just that much better. Ryu's style is super refreshing, and gives off a soft, comforting vibe as well. I did my best to capture that through lighter base colors and using brushes that had a high blending threshold along with soft edges. Saki looked absolutely adorable in her style, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. When I first started posting on YouTube on my past accounts, I really looked up to this artist. Her speed paints and abilities were jaw-dropping, and she also created numerous games by herself that feature her amazing illustrations along with great storytelling. Her style is very distinct and recognizable through her bold usage of color and semi-realism. Portraying emotions through art is also something she excels in, which my rendition didn't do that much justice. But this was certainly an interesting experience as I've never tried drawing in a style like this.
Next on the list, we have Fluffy. I really love her style, and especially the way she tackles lighting and eyes. I feel like her style is pretty flexible depending on the specific illustration, and her coloring is also superb. But I think what astonishes me the most is her massive improvement over the past few years. It really motivated me to practice more and develop a good work ethic. For the drawing, I went with a simpler shading style of mostly gradients and some soft shadows here and there. I also added a rim of bright pinkish purple as the highlight. Although I tried my best, I still couldn't emulate those soft, magical looking eyes. Yuko, or her alias on Instagram, Melted Buns, is an artist that I discovered more recently, and I am so in love with her art. Her style is very elegant, but I'm also amazed at her ability to adapt and apply that vibe to almost everything she draws. I had a lot of trouble with recreating her style because of my limited understanding of form and color as well as how complex her style really is. I went with a more muted palette and used a lot of lighter tones in her hair, but I feel like I could have done a better job. Regardless, Yuko's style is a blessing, and I can't wait to see more from her. This next artist is one that I've been admiring for a long time. Their art really influenced me when I was younger and more into a traditional anime style. I do want to add that the references for this style in particular was taken from their older art, so it probably does not reflect what their art looks like now. Nevertheless, they were still a huge inspiration to me and I'm sure many others. Dae's style is more on the cell shading side. They use primarily flat colors and a crisp line art. But because of time restraints and the fact that I can't line art to save my life, I used a clean sketch instead and later colored it darker to serve as the line art. Although their style looks simple, the placement and shapes of the shadows are very intentional. I did my best to replicate it and I think it turned out okay. I've been following Kane for a few years now and seeing the way her style and artwork has evolved is incredible. She has a very distinct style, and I absolutely adore her usage of geometric shapes and her coloring. How she does it is beyond my comprehension, and maybe that's why I had such a hard time recreating her style. I didn't know where to place the diamonds or what shade to use, so the end product looked like a bootleg version of her style. But through this experience, I have so much newfound respect for Kane. I'm sure she's put a lot of time and effort into developing such a beautiful art style, so nothing but love and appreciation for her. And last but not least, we have Yenko's. I first discovered her through a watercolor speed paint on YouTube, and then I found her again on Instagram back in 2015. I love how clean and simple her style is, and she was definitely a huge factor in me picking up watercolors again. In a sense, this channel might not even exist if it wasn't for her inspiring me to draw traditionally once more. 
Recently, she's been doing more digital pieces, which I also love, and I did my best to capture her style in aesthetics such as sparkly eyes and cute proportions. And this is my inspiration style challenge all complete! I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and feel free to tell me which one was your favorite. Also, please check out all the artists as featured. I will link their information in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one.